Moin, Bimes. Dink no, Lenne Geta. Dink no, Lenne Nugus und Neges. Moin, Bimes Latle Allem. Dink no, Lenne Zalalem. Dink no, Dink no, Lenne Geta. Word. And study the word, have come and pay for it, got no stuff. You know, like, uh, educate yourself about this. First of all, the Ethiopian currency, the imperial currency is based on silver. And when we say silver, we're talking about real silver. Silver and gold and other precious minerals and resources come out of Africa. You understand? And out of Ethiopia in particular, but Ethiopian currency was based on silver. Up until 1974 and 75, it was based on actual real silver. It was based on something real. You know what I'm saying? Like if you look in the West, it was FDR and the gold standard, which was overcome by the Federal Reserve. They wanted to do that same system in Ethiopia. And his imperial majesty refused. He refused to subject the Ethiopian currency to their globalistic world order. And so what they did? Is basically hatch this revolution. Is basically put out the propaganda. Send the fornicator Jonathan Dimbleby. You understand the death, the death seeker. You know the vampire hunter, or whatever like that. Send him to Ethiopia. You understand to film the uh, two provinces in Ethiopia. Which, if you understand the history behind these two provinces, speaking of Tigra and Wolo. There was an internal rebellion going on in Ethiopia. Now, if you know the history of Tigra and Wolo in the northern area of Ethiopia, you know that they've been very much affected and defected by a lot of the propaganda. You see, if they can't get into your country, what they do is begin to circulate disinformation. They use the disinformation as a media. And that's what we mean that it's a spiritual, you know, it's a spiritual warfare. You understand? So the words is spirit. You understand? The words is spirit. A spiritist means ear. The words go through the ear. So it's a spiritual warfare to demoralize, you understand, a country or a people. That's why George Bush, the first George Bush would say, um, Herbert Walker, that is, he would say it, it's more than one little country, small country. He was talking about Ethiopia. Because they understood that the neocons, as well as the neolibs, with this deal with the neocons, they had the opportunity once again to try to correct and reboot the matrix that is imperial majesty, you understand, was an obstacle to them. And not just his imperial majesty, but the works of his imperial majesty. Come on, 27 African nations. Kennedy says that. Kennedy says that at the railway station. And that was another reason that got his skull board open because of what he said in the position that he said and then he found out about this secret society which was already infecting his country. Who do you think put him up to that? The same one that put um, Eisenhower Eisenhower up on a military industrial complex. It was Haile Selassie the first that warned Eisenhower about that and when Eisenhower was going out of office what did Eisenhower say? Eisenhower would warn about the the military industrial complex that you go and you research the news and the history look at the newspaper Eisenhower himself says that his imperial majesty had taught him things that he should have known already Eisenhower Eisenhower was taught about the military industrial complex by his imperial majesty he was schooled on that and he must have been shocked and amazed. Go ahead, this Ethiopian emperor from halfway around the world, you understand, from a so-called small country, as they like to say, you understand, who had told him, a decorated war hero and veteran, about things which he should have already known about. And what does he do? do he warned them in that famous speech that you'll see on some of the websites and around the YouTubes where Eisenhower warned about the military industrial complex. You know something? When did you first begin to see that piece of archival footage? That's why the footage is really so clear. Because they didn't show it more than the time that they first showed it. You know, as president, of course, they broadcast it. But they kept that video and that film roll hidden for, for decades. For decades, they kept that hidden as they tried to repair 
You understand the plan of the so-called globalist and new world order. You understand? This is very interesting. You really have to become informed. If you're going to listen to Marcus Garvey, for example, we don't put too much stock in Marcus Garvey. You understand? He had great potential. You understand? He has great potential, like the media has great potential, but if they're going to broadcast lies, you understand? If they're going to put forward disinformation, then we don't have no use for that. We can maybe learn from the technical techniques or whatever like that, but we don't have use for that person or their work. So don't bring us your naysaying Garvey said this about the emperor, Garvey said that. If Garvey was 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 such a such a truth teller, you understand? Why did he not tell the truth about his imperial majesty? You see, but a lot of people don't know about Garvey. Garvey was a Jesuit dissembler. You understand? Know Garvey was a Jesuit assembler sent into the very heart of the movement. You understand? Know Garvey. Moin, Bimas. Dink no, Lene Gita. Dink no, Lene Nugusun Neges. Moin, Bimas Latel Alem. Dink no, Lene Zalalem. Dick no, Dick no, Lene, Lene Gita. Word and study the word, I've come in paper and got notes back. You know, like a, a 